welcome to the initial video from LAFC 661. Uh, just a little bit about who we are. Um, I'm Kevin, this is my son Leighton, we're the Morrisons, and we're up here in Bakersfield, hence the 661, uh, part of the District 9 Ultras, Bakersfield chapter. And what we're going to be doing is each week after games, giving a little recap, a little bit of talk, a little bit of news and rumors, uh, some interaction from anybody who wants to send us some stuff. And uh, that's what we're going to be doing. So this is our first run at this. Uh, we'll get better. Be patient. And um, yeah, did I forget anything there? Sorry. Got a lot of hit today. All right. Yeah, see, we're, we're working on it. We'll get better. You can get better with us. So um, being that this is our first show and we're getting ready to go into the next season, we can't start off without look, taking one moment from last season. Uh, so we're going to, each of us are going to give us our best moment, uh, something that really defined the season for us last year, and uh, really got things going for us in that inaugural season. So, Leighton, what's your what's your moment of the 2018 season? Well, my moment is that uh, when you and I went up to San Jose for the LAFC San Jose away game, uh, it was a very back and forth game, and that, I feel, I feel like that's what had a part in it. Uh, if you actually go back and watch the more advanced replay on YouTube, you'll, you'll see us. There's like a, in our one row, there'll be like a little dip and then I'll go back. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that guy was very back, back and forth. It was a very intense game. I think uh, the fact that we went up there, that had a lot more to it. So I think the, our San Jose away win was probably my moment of the season. Yeah, uh, amazing experience. If you get a chance to travel with the supporters, go to an away game, of course the bank is the place to be. Uh, but to be able to go and represent in another city, uh, a side note, uh, my favorite thing on that trip was the Salt Lake, not Salt Lake City, San Jose. Uh, they brought in someone to sing the national anthem, which most stadiums do. As you know, we don't. We all sing it together. Uh, we're not going to win American Idol, but we all sing it together. Our supporters section was louder than the stadium sound system broadcasting their national anthem singer. Uh, so that shows you what kind of supporters we have, and that was that was a great experience. For me, my moment from last year, there are a lot. I enjoyed a lot of moments, but it has to be the Saman goal in that home opener. Uh, that, I mean, it was an electric atmosphere the entire game. We really showed up and defined for MLS who we're going to be as fans. But for the game to finish that way, that set the tone uh, for the entire season. I think um, it let us know as fans that anything can happen and let the players know that the fans are behind them the whole time. And that was just probably one of the best sports moments that I've witnessed in person in my short 45 years of attending sporting events. Um, so that was last season, an amazing run out of the gate. Uh, now we're going to hit season two, a little bit more experienced. And uh, I think that the sky's the limit for us. Uh, but speaking of this off season and coming into season two, I mean, of course, off seasons are all full of all kinds of rumors and news and transfers and talks. And uh, so, if you had to pick something to focus on from this off season, like what would you say uh, stood out the most to you as far as happenings or what didn't happen this off season? I think the one thing that was very if you get the beginning of the off season, but it's really come together at the end of the season, was the fact that we re-signed Zimmerman. Zimmerman was uh, basically that seemed, it was basically that Simon replacement whenever he left. Uh, he was our rock in the back, even though our defense was a bit sketchy at sometimes, but he was there whenever we needed him. So I feel I feel like the fact that we re-signed him to a multiple year contract, uh, as long as bringing in uh, some of these new players, he's gonna be there and be that commanding wall before Miller. So I feel like the fact that we re-signed him, I feel like that was one of the one of our best moves of the offseason. I think that's good. I agree. I think he's on the way up still. I mean, he's a, he's a solid player as it is, but he's still young. He's still getting better, still getting experienced. And for me, whenever we have a corner kick now, I think there's a good chance it's coming off Zimmerman's head and going into the goal. Exactly. He kind of established himself as that it's kind all of All you threat. need off corners. Just he's the only one you need in the box now. Yep. A um, little bit of panic moment for me, if I'm looking at this off season, uh, was when those silly Vela rumors started moving around about Vela going to Barcelona. 
Um, glad it didn't happen. We're kind of past that now. We can all laugh about it and, you know, wipe the sweat from our brow. I don't think it was going to happen. I think it would have been a, a, a poor move on management's part. You know, you've built this brand, you've built this city block by block, street by street. Um, such a family here at LAFC that had such a great opening season to ship off your, your star, the one you built around, even for just six months or whatever kind of loan they were talking about. I think you'd upset a lot of the fan base. Um, and as we're trying to work on chemistry through this season, which is going to get better each season, to remove that piece, I, I think we would have taken a step backwards maybe 10 steps backwards <laughs> by, by sending Vela somewhere else. Uh, so looking ahead, uh, we got a good season coming up. Schedule's released. Uh, we're excited about stuff coming up. Uh, what are you looking forward to most in the 2019 season? Uh, we signed some, it looks like, from the replays and the highlight videos we've seen, that we've signed some very, very good midfielders with our draft picks this season. So uh, I'm excited to hopefully see them get game time. I feel like if they do get game time, it's going to be very... Very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Underrated is what I would say, because they're not the most known players, but they're going to have their presence there from, from the highlights we've seen. Yes, it's going to be a very step up in class from playing, the, from, like, from playing at the collegiate level to MLS, but I feel like they'll be able to hopefully make that transition turn as well. I think so, and looking at their highlights, I think that they, they definitely have the skills. Like you said, it's a step up from the MLS. Uh, one thing I like about our team coming into this next year is that we have a good mix of uh, veteran seasoned players who know their way around the MLS and are going to be able to take these young guys under their wing and uh, show them the ropes. And I think they're in a good spot to develop themselves as players uh, within the league. Uh, specifically for me, what I'm looking forward to, I have a bad taste in my mouth with how we got through our series with Carson uh, last year. Uh, we weren't able to pull out that win. Uh, Zlatan coming in and getting that goal of the year. I'll give him credit. That was quite a goal in <laughs> his first game. Did that uh, win goal of the year? Or a goal of the MLS season? Well, if you ask Zlatan, it did. <laughs> well, if you ask anyone, that's not an LAFC fan. It's not some probably did That's true. Uh, but in Zlatan's world, that was the goal of the season. Maybe the goal of the world. Uh, you know how he is. Goal is lot of time. Uh, well, yeah, every goal he scores is a goal is a lot of time. <laughs> We're getting off track here. But what I want to see this year is for us to take over that series. Call it El Trafico. Call it what you want. Some people don't like that name. Maybe we can take some suggestions for something different. Um, but I'm looking forward to those games. And, of course, we will every year. Uh, Carson is not in Los Angeles. We'll go ahead and put that out there now. Uh, we are, uh, and we're looking forward to that rematch. That's what I'm looking forward to. Uh, one of the things we want to do um, on our, our shows here is we're going to have a segment in the stands. At any given moment, there are thousands of cell phones going in the stands, in the bank, at the away games. And some of the videos caught on those cell phones are more, uh, what's the word? I don't, they're, they're more exciting to me than the professionally shot videos because it's so pure, so real, so at fan level. You know, this is the, the, the results that you see when you're at the stadium. Uh, so we got a shot here from uh, Leighton and I traveled up to the San Jose game, and I happened to be recording when Moutinho uh, tapped in that ball uh, to take the lead at the end. That was a crazy game. Um, being a part of the supporters section there, I didn't have a voice the next day. But if you, if you look at the In The Stands video, you can see the true emotion of our supporters section. And it was, it was, it was amazing. And so...
opportunity, send us your In The Stands videos, and this is a, a segment where we can put stuff like that up. Anytime I see those videos, I'm, I'm getting chills. This is that... <sighs> yeah, to hear the crowd, uh, nobody can hold a cell phone still. <laughs> so the cell phone's moving, you know there's emotion, you know the stadium's shaking. Those are the best ones. So send us your best In The Stands videos and we'll get them on here. Um, okay, and we also, as a regular segment, we like to roast the galaxy. There are a lot of us out there that do that. We troll their, their Instagrams, their Twitters, uh, their fake accounts that they, they, there's a million of them. Plenty of opportunities to troll. <laughs> we, I found one here, uh, and this is from King Street Hooligans, LAFC. Give them a like, go follow them. Uh, but I'll tell you, Ray Leona's probably got more mileage out of this meme that they took from the scene from his movie than the actual movie did could be close but through the course of time he's going to get more so this is a good one uh, go give them a like at king street hooligans lafc and again if you are a good troller you have a good roast of the galaxy send it into us if you find one as you're perusing the interwebs uh, go ahead and suggest that to us too and we'll get it on here so um, that's who we are uh, this is our show during the season. We'll get weekly shows in there for updates, recaps, look aheads. Uh, just a fun time talking about stuff. And you can send us your ideas. What do we need to talk about? What do you want to talk about? Um, so this is going to be an interactive opportunity. So uh, you'll be able to follow us on Instagram, on Twitter. And uh, yeah, that's, have I forgotten anything there? Uh, make sure you send in your roasts. We just link us to them, send screenshots, whatever you feel like you need to do to our Instagram or Twitter. Twitter both will be up on screen right now. Yeah, so that's it. Uh, that's our first video. We're looking forward to a great 2019 season. Uh, we're starting it off. We're going to be at the Vistle game here next week. Uh, we'll probably get some in the stand video from that. We'd love to see yours. And uh, we'll do another show after that to see uh, what else is going on for the upcoming season. Uh, that's all, folks. Have a good night. Remember that Bakersfield is black and gold. Amen.